Hey, hey, friends. Good to talk to you today. This is the Well Weekly, I think episode 11. And I want to chat today about walking. (laughs) Simply just walking has really transformed my health uh, in 2023. And so I want to tell you how it has done that and then give you five simple tips for how you can start walking. I started walking outside for 45 minutes every single day on January 1st. And today is the 89th day of the year when I am recording this and I have walked 88 out of 89 days this year. Now, when people come to me and ask for health and wellness advice, I add walking in for every single person. This is a recommendation. Walking outside is a recommendation for every single person that wants to improve their health, and their wellness. So as a reminder, you know, I've got my Be Well wheel here and walking is has a positive impact on all three aspects of the Be Well wheel, our mindset, our physical, well, our, our physical body, as well as our spiritual wellness. It really checks all the boxes and all the areas. So I want to tell you how it's done that for me. Physically, walking for 45 minutes outside every day has been a huge help for me with losing a little bit of weight. I know for some, it helps them maintain their weight. There is so much evidence and research out there about the more steps you have in a day, the better your overall health is going to be. I can tell you that my joints and my muscles feel so much better Uh, Since I have started walking, I don't hold on to as much fluid and with fluid retention and inflammation has gone down. I just feel better physically all the way around with walking every day. Mentally, this is the biggest one for me, you guys. This is the reason I keep walking is because I have major mood shifts every single time I walk. I can start my day groggy maybe a little bit grouchy, a little bit irritable and stressed. And there comes a point about halfway through my walk where I'm like, oh, life isn't as bad as I thought it was before. There's significant mood shifts with walking. I can't explain it. I know it has to do with the endorphins and the fresh air, but something about that movement, being outside and experiencing the fresh air does wonders for our mood and for our stress. It is the best therapy and it's free. Okay, the third thing, spiritually, walking has been a spiritual practice for me. It gives me an opportunity to pray, to spend time looking at nature and God's creation and to praise him for that. I often listen to worship music or I listen to sermons or podcasts. And so it has improved my spiritual life as well. So as I said, walking checks all the boxes, physical, mental, and spiritual for me. Now, I know the biggest obstacle is time for walking. And we all say we don't have time. And I get that. I completely understand. But I'm going to tell you, you do have time. (laughs) You do. Every single person has at least 20 minutes a day where they can go outside and walk. I don't care what age or stage, if you're working, if you're stay at home, every single person has 20 minutes in their day to walk outside. If it's cold, you bundle up. When I would wear a hat and gloves and a thick coat, often by the end of the walk, I'm shedding those things because I'm getting warm. If it's raining, well, most of the time I've learned when it says it's going to when it says it's going to rain all day, it actually doesn't rain all day. And there's a window of time where it's not raining. You can get out there or use an umbrella or a raincoat. No excuses. This is a free exercise that God gave us that we all have time to do. So here are five t- five simple tips for you to get started with walking at least 20 minutes every single day. Number one, find a feasible time in your day and a place where you can walk. Is it best for you to walk in the morning, on your lunch break, in the evening, right before bed? What's the feasible time when you can make it into your routine? And then where are you going to walk? I have a great neighborhood where I can walk, but maybe it's the park or a parking lot or your driveway, but figure out your time and place. Number two, set a goal. Maybe you just need to start with five minutes a day. 
that's what you, every, every day for five minutes, you're going to walk or 20 minutes or three laps around the neighborhood, whatever it is, set your goal. Number three, get some decent shoes. We don't want to cause more foot pain or foot issues from walking. So get a good pair of shoes. Number four, find an accountability partner. This is huge for me. I check in with my accountability partners every day on my walks. But here's the cool thing. When friends want to get together with me, a lot of times now they'll say, let's not go get coffee. Let's go walk together. Yes, a walk and a talk is so much fun and the time goes by so fast. It's so enjoyable. So get an accountability partner. And number five is do a few stretches when you finish to make sure your body doesn't get really tight. So stretch out those muscles now that they're warm. Okay, we can all do this, friends. Let's start walking more, enjoying the beauty of God's creation, letting it wash over our souls and help our emotions as well as our physical bodies we can do it. No excuses. Okay. If you already love walking, tell me what you love about it. If you don't, but maybe you've been inspired to start comment here. I'll help keep you accountable. Okay, friends, let's be well.